All right, folks. So behind me here, uh, I have a 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon that we've done for a customer. Uh, we've done a couple builds for him. Uh, the previous Jeep we did for him was a uh, 40s and uh, one tons and a bunch of other goodies on that. So this build is uh, more of a purpose-built uh, rig. So he was wanting something that was functional, that still looked good, but entirely uh, just a functional one or two person max wheeling travel Ozarks kind of rig. And uh, so this is our phase two, phase three. We'll be at about a week and a half when the remaining of our parts come in. So I wanted to give you a quick walk around for where it is right now. So let's get into it. So this is a gas model 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon um, with the automatic transmission. We went with a Dobinson's MRR suspension setup and then we did the metal cloak game changer 2.5 as well as some upgraded steering components. Uh, we did upgraded drive shafts and we are doing um, on phase three, we're doing RCV uh, axles and then we're gonna be doing power brake X-Line stage two brakes up front as well. So this is the method 706s and we went with 351150 Toyo Open Country AT3s. So not 37s on this build. Uh, I think 35s is just a perfect functional tire. Uh, we could have gone bigger and there's obviously clearance and we've got everything built to stop as far as the brakes and for driveline upgrades for 37s um, then we would have but we would have wanted to do gears and he really wanted to just leave it at 35s and functional so on the front end we've got the ARB bumper come up solo 9.5 fits really really nicely I actually really love the look of this bumper it fits perfectly with just the style of this rig um, we've got a Midland I think it's the MXT 575 we've got in the cab. KC highlight setup up here that's tied into the Switch Pro that I'll show you into the cab here shortly. Um, over here, we are going to be mounting two lights here on phase three and upgrading these. We'll be doing the diode dynamic uh, headlight upgrades and then changing those out to some diode dynamics, I believe, in there as well. Here you can see where it sits with a 35 in this Dobinson lift kit with the Metal Cloak Game Changer pairing there. Inside of here, we've got the Switch Pro. Um, got a lot of blanks because there's a lot that's gonna be getting added here soon. So excited to get that all dialed in and then just the radio mount is over there. It's underneath of the seat inside of there. Aside from that, the interior of these Jeeps don't really need a whole heap of upgrading. Um, just did a bullet mount right there. Um, pretty simple, but Obviously, they're already kind of built out being a Rubicon for being a kind of a venture prepped vehicle. In the back, we are gonna be doing a goose gear delete system. We'll be doing a fridge with a slide mount that's over here. Um, it's gonna be a tight fit, but we've measured it and it's gonna work really, really nicely. Um, and then over here, we're gonna be building a custom storage setup that's gonna replace this. So that'll be in phase three. And then moving along, this is the part that we're really excited about. This is the Dirt Box Overland tray setup. This has the integrated water tank and fuel. So the fuel is here, the water fill is over there, but the tank is built within the tray. And then on the back here, so you've got storage that's here. And then you've also got this compartment on the driver and passenger side. It's a really slick setup. It is very minimal added weight to the vehicle as compared to the factory bed um, with what you're looking at right here. But the departure angle that you gain as well as functional storage is quite incredible. Look at that, just, just great. Looks are obviously incredible. Um, I love their taillights that they've got built within these trays. Um, but phase three is what we're really excited about with this. So we are doing 
they have a couple different options. You can just do a tray, you can do a half canopy, or you can do a full canopy. So we are doing a half canopy. Then on this side, we're gonna have a pull-out kitchen set up, which I believe we have right over here. Uh, I'll show you this here in a little bit. But that's gonna go inside the half canopy on here. And on the other side, we'll have a storage set up and where we'll route wire uh, all of our 12 volt. We're doing a lithium battery set up, DC to DC charging, um, solar that will be going on the top. And then uh, wiring in an air B air compressor, pump controls for the water pump that's over there with the built in water tank. Uh, and we'll be adding scene lighting, both on driver's side, passenger side, rear. And then we'll be adding forward facing lighting up there as well. That's gonna be kind of used as a side fill. So really, really excited about that. We'll send you out videos when that's all done, hoping in about a week and a half, maybe, uh, maybe two weeks. So with the half tray, we're gonna be doing the sideboards and the rear fold down tailgate and the rear hoop set up here because we'll be mounting a tent on top of there um, inside of uh, the back, or excuse me, on the back side of the half tray there will be where our spare tire will mount right there, as well as a diesel heater setup um, that we'll be pumping into the tent. So this has been a fun one. We just did this rig just maybe about a month and a half ago. It came back uh, two days ago for us to get this tray and headache rack done, and then we'll get it all finished up once we have everything else in next week. So kind of a, like I said, a simple build but very functional purpose built um, vehicle not big and crazy uh, you saw in our other video the one we did like I said with one tons and 40s uh, that was a beautiful rig but two entirely different uses for for those rigs so this one is going to just be very you know mild mannered only has 35s but um, being the suspension setup that it has and the departure angle um, added clearance from the lift kit and everything like that. This will be a very, very, very capable rig. Probably just as, as, as capable as it needs to be for the majority of what all of us go do when we go off-road. 37s would look cooler, but I honestly think the 35s um, are just a very clean, functional look. So, there you have it. This is one of our builds. Uh, this is a 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon.